David Barnes, who was uh, uh, in the you know Good Times movie, and, and Image was positive, and and for the first time, kids were growing up with an image that were black. A lot of artists of color used to come and ask me, how can I do this, you know? We never see anybody like you at these shows and stuff. I was traveling, I call it now, in hindsight, the Chitlin Circuit for Artists. Oh, they'll never come to this. And that's the attitude that they had. All of them came. Artists was the beginning of black people loving black people. My idea was that artists would have many galleries, M-I-N-I, -N -I, where they would have their work on display. Um, it would be maybe an eight by 10 space. I would have piping draping like they had at the exhibition halls. Oftentimes leave their shop wondering why we weren't the purveyors of our own culture. And um, we thought that we as black people could be better purveyors of our own culture because we cared about our culture a lot more. I mean, I was eating a cheeseburger and soup on credit one day, and the next day, you know, I'm in $130,000 bins. Manpower Conference with T.D. Jakes. And I was so excited because I actually sold like 500 pieces in two hours. And at that point, that's when I realized, wow, I may be an artist. But there's a drawback when you have something that boom. You get a lot of players to come in just for the sake of, I'm gonna make some money. Uh, I don't know anything about the industry. He immediately got his car started going to do festivals. So every time I would see him, he would just give me money. And he had this like guilty posture. You want to be able to create and appeal to the customers at the same time. So how do you do that when the customers you have aren't necessarily where you are creatively? Um, we had dealers who weren't paying us and, you know, you had to really stand your own, uh, make your way. In this industry, there's about 4% of black women doing art. That's a very small percentage. She's being forced to leave her peace and walk towards chaos and distress and roughness and coarseness. And she doesn't have a chain in front of her because she's a queen. She's being forced to lead her people into slavery. Sitting in, selling the artwork. And I felt like, you know, I'm shining and sitting in. <laughs> and and then, then this man comes up named Pancho. He said, he called me Toby. I said, what the? What you talking about? Who you call Toby? When I looked around and I realized that every artist in the October Gallery was representing themselves, except for me. It took me a long time to figure it out. We, as artists, are directly tied into the housing market. When black folks start losing their house, you're not going to sell them anything to put on the walls because the walls was disappearing. Don't be comfortable with just going forward. Look back and you may see something that you can relate to. And you may be the de direct descendant of a process that you didn't even know that exists. What would be my voice? And that's been my uh, question. I could do what they're doing. Perhaps I can do something different, but still celebrate blackness.